In this video, I'm going to show you how to look for articles using the library's databases. And I'm going to use examples from the assignment for your first paper for the class. So looking at the work of Carol Dweck, um, Ken Robinson, Angela Duckworth, and you know, um, theories or philosophies about ideas like grit or growth mindset. So let me show you how you can get to the research guide um, for this class. You can always, of course, just click directly on the guide inside Canvas, but in case you forget where it is, right now I'm on the Cerritos website. I'm going to go to Quick Links and click on the link to get to the library. This is the library's homepage. Um, it gives you information about how to get to our catalog, how to get into our research databases, the guides, which I'll show you. It also shows you how you can chat with a librarian right away. So if you've got a question, you need help immediately, you can't get me, you can click this button and get help right away. But we're gonna look at the research guide we created for your class. So I clicked on research guides. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click on education because that's the topic. Um, that you guys are working on this semester. And as I scroll through, I can see um, the guide for your class. So um, I'm going to click on the Find Articles link. And this has taken us to a page where you will see a list of databases that we recommend for research in your class. The first database I want to show you guys is called Academic Search Complete, and it is a multidisciplinary database, so it has a little bit of everything in it. It's like going to a fancy department store. It has a little bit of everything. It's a great place to start. The first time that you log in um, to the library from home, um, you'll be asked to put in your credentials. You would just put in whatever you use to log into Canvas. And now I'm looking at the search screen for Academic Search Complete. And like I said before, um, for your first paper, you will be talking about um, the idea of grit or growth mindset. You've been reading a lot in your class from your course readings, but you might want to find a little bit more. So one of the things you can do is you can look and see if you can find any other articles about those topics. So for example, I could just look for grit And of course, you know, grit is, means more than just like a um, state of mind. You know, it has an actual physical meaning. But if we, if we scroll through, I can kind of find some articles that start talking about grit in the same way that you're talking about it in your class. So here, moral compass, positive and negative affect as factors of grit and zest among students. Um, this is what we would call a scholarly article. It's a research article. Um, done by researchers for other researchers. And it might be really interesting for you to read something like this, but if you don't want to get that deep into it, you can read instead something we call a popular um, magazine or a popular article. And that would be something like Time Magazine, Psychology Today, something written for a general reader. And if you want to limit to those kind of magazines, if you come over here where it says source types, I can decide I want to limit to just magazines or newspapers. And that's going to take out all of the scholarly research articles, right? The other thing that you might want to do is limit to full text. That's going to limit the results to only items that the library owns. So now I'm looking at 761 articles. Um, we start and we can read the abstract. This just, this is like this article discusses pros and cons of grit, the personality trait, and a complete guide for achieving long-term goals in workplace, right? Here's one, grit, growth, and great ideas. Here's something, the power of defat, right? This is about um, raising a kid with grit. And so you can kind of, you know, scroll through this and see if you find some things that are interesting to you that you like. You can limit in other ways. You can limit by date. So you could decide that you only want articles that have been published in the last um, 
15 years or so. And if you see an article that you like, that looks interesting to you, you're going to click on, you can click on, let's say, the PDF of it. And here you're seeing the full text of the article. If you like this article, there are a bunch of things you can do. You can print or download it. You can send it to your Google Drive. You can email it to yourself. And what is especially useful is you can grab the citation. If I scroll down, you can see the MLA citation. And you can copy and paste that to use it for your paper. So that is one way that you can use the database to find some other things related to your topic. The other thing that can be really fun is you can look for articles about the authors of um, the readings you've done in class, like Carol Dweck or Ken Robinson or Angela Duckworth, right? So if I look for Carol Dweck like this, what I'm doing, I put the quotes around the search term I'm using, and that's telling the database to only bring me back results that talk about Carol Dweck in that order, right? So there's a little magazine article about her. If I, if I search for her this way, last name, comma, first name, I get, I get more results because we're looking for her as a subject term. And you can see I misspelled her name and they still found her for me. So um, when I'm talking about a subject term, what that means is this article is about Carol Dweck. It's not by her, right? So let me fix my search. So now I have 100 results here. I can try the same kind of search I did before. Also, you know, 53 results. And so you can go through and you can find some articles that were written um, by her, but a lot of articles that were written about her. And just like before, you can limit to full text. And you can decide you're going to limit to just magazine articles or academic journal articles. And the same search will work for Ken Robinson or for Angela Duckworth and the idea of growth mindset. And so if I wanted to do a search for growth mindset, I'm going to put growth mindset in quotes because it's important that those two words show up next to each other. And when I search, I get 158 results. Now, you could decide that you only want to look at results that talk about college students or community college students. And an easy way to limit to a specific uh, population um, is you can just add an and, and then you could put college, for example. So you're saying in this search, I only want to find articles that talk about growth mindset and also talk about college, right? So you can see there's a lot, you can find a lot of articles just inside Academic Search Complete. And this one is great because it has scholarly articles in a multitude of disciplines, but it also has a lot of popular periodicals, so magazine articles that are shorter and written for a general audience. However, you might want a little bit more, and I just thought I would take a moment to show you two other databases that you might find interesting. So a database is just a collection of information, and every database has a different collection, right? So if I said Academic Search Complete is sort of like a fancy department store like Nordstrom, there are other databases like, let's say, ERIC. ERIC is just education research, for example. Psych Articles is just psychological research. So since these people that you're talking about for this first assignment, a lot of them work in the field of educational psychology, you're going to find a lot of additional articles either by them or about them in these two databases here. 
Eric will include some professional literature, so it'll have scholarly articles, but also journals or magazines, just simple magazines written for educators, right? Psych articles is gonna be primarily um, scholarly journal articles and research papers written for people in the field of psychology. So either one of these is also going to be another great resource to look for additional information for your first paper. So good luck. If you need help, don't forget to ask for it. You can click on the Ask Our Librarian page inside your course shell and you'll see my contact information. And if you're working, you know, late at night or on the weekend and you can't get a hold of me, just look for this little chat with the librarian button and you'll get help right away.